Hello and hello. Thank you for joining me today. Live action role play. I don't, I don't, I don't know much about it. Okay, but I was scrolling through YouTube yesterday and I saw this video that had like two million views and it said something like live action role play in Germany. Ten things you got to know or something. And I, I, I just had to watch it. So I've been waiting to watch this video because to me. My only exposure to live action role play, and I am not making fun, but something like this in the local park, every once in a while I see this going on. And I, like I said, I am not making fun of these people because some people would laugh, haha, you know, they're pretending to be a wizard. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. But they're swinging sword, like foam swords. Honestly, it looks like a lot of fun. It would probably be a lot of fun. I'm just way too insecure to go out there in like a gown and and duel in public at least. You know, do it in someone's basement and I'll be there. But then this video, I mean, I've clicked it in this first frame. <laughs> this is in Germany. Is this what LARPing is like in Germany? Are you kidding? <laughs> this is a whole different level than anything I've ever seen. So 10 facts about Epic Empires. And I guess Epic Empires is a LARPing event. This video is blown up. 1.4 million views and it's it was uploaded last week. Let's watch Son Joss Adventures. I just had to say go check out that channel. But I need to see this. LARP is a badass hobby of hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. It's basically like playing video games. That is terrifying. <laughs> oh my God. So this is like legit cosplay mixed with, I mean, I guess LARP has cosplay in it. So, but these costumes are on the same level as like Comic-Con or, you know, wherever people go and cosplay, but they're getting down and dirty in a battle. <laughs> That's epic. But in real life. <laughs> Today, I'll show you a LARP event that makes you feel like you are right inside of a movie. Hey, I'm Sonia, and Let's go. here are 10 facts about Epic Empires. All right. Number one, The event where? is held at the Utopion Bexbach campground in the west of Germany, not far from the border to France. It's a beautiful and huge LARP site with more than 160 hectares of wood. <laughs> They're like burning torches, but I just had to say, all these tents and everything. My, it's like a little village they have propped up over here for this event. Meadows and hills you can play on. It usually happens every year at the... And Germany is the perfect scene for this. You know, there's just something about the nature there. The hills and the trees. Thick forests. It just... I'm guessing that's where a lot of, um, like, fantasy movies and stuff probably shot. Some scenes in Germany. End of August for about five days. And castles. <laughs> Epic Empires this is, is the ridiculous. third biggest LARP event in Germany, with around 1,200 people attending. Love the face paint. Most of these LARPers come from all over Germany and some neighboring European countries. So the main language is German. But people are very welcoming, and they will switch to English for you. There is oh, one big you. difference to most LARP events, though. At Epic Empires, you have to be at least 18 years old to attend. Yeah, I would say so. Even just to see some of this stuff. It's terrifying, let alone the danger. I mean, these swords aren't nearly as padded. You know, look at these swords. You know, this might be friendly to some 10-year-olds could join. These things, they're actually fearing for their lives, or at least their eyeballs. Children and people underage are not allowed. The reason is simple. Epic Empires is all about full... What on earth, dude? This is literally a movie. ...and deep immersion into a fantastic world. And that might include role-playing intense conflicts, experiencing scenes of violence, or playing with the concept of sexuality. If you get easily triggered by such topics, this what? event might not be for you. So to make it as safe as possible for everyone, Epic Empires is strictly for adults that are legally capable of <laughs> full self- What happened to this LARPer? ...responsibility. And of course, everyone takes care of each other. Oh, look at that. 
It's a medieval fantasy. They made amends. He wove the white flag. Setting with a wild. It's all mix over. Everybody go home. And low fantasy. There are characters from the Warhammer fantasy universe, mixed oh. with historically inspired characters. Warhammer, is that what this all is? And you can also see orcs and elves that would fit perfectly into a Lord of the Rings movie. Yes. The concept of this LARP event is player versus player. And the camps PvP. really take that seriously. You don't just go into another camp like that. There will be guards, and they will try to take you down if you have evil in mind. So your LARP character would probably pay with their life for such a careless act. This setting is awesome if you like the... Th that, that's what I would do the entire time. I'll tell you that right now. I'd be trying to sneak into the other camp. Thrill that your next enemy might be just around the corner. And of course, it's also great for diplomatic roleplay. Gandalf. The character can achieve a lot in this world if they are good with words, with political strategies, or if they have just a big bag of coins. Ah... I might ha might not have the best costume, but I can get some coins, get some coins together, and I'll just be the rich guy. Izzat are the native inhabitants of the fantastic world of epic empires. Once upon a time, their gods fought a violent war and almost destroyed the world. That is why the Lizat decided to overpower their own gods and lock them into prisons. <laughs> and now... You have the chance to influence this world with your own actions. May it be through politics, adventurous quests, magical rituals, or through combat on the battlefield. Most of oh the my. plot of this LARP event is generated by the players themselves. So you really have a big influence oh. on how the story of Epic go near that guy. evolves. In LARP, it's all about roleplay. You create your own fantasy character, and then you stay in that role for the entire event. At Epic Empires, this is taken... How much fun would this be? It's amazing to see there's so many different types of people here. Old, young, big and small. Very seriously. You really commit to your wow. role and never break character during the event. But where are the limits, you might ask? If this is fantasy and I can create whatever I want, are there still rules? Yes. And in the I would hope so. You know, you can't actually cast a fireball into someone's face. In the case of Epic Empires, the rules are very simple. Your LARP character can only do what you can realistically portray. So your character can't fly unless you can realistically portray that. And if you want to use magic, for example, you do that. Someone's going to bring a jetpack. By using realistic effects such as light or smoke. And if you want to play a thief, you can absolutely do that. Just stick to the rules and only steal these marked red bags. You might uh. find them tied to somebody's belt when you walk around the beautiful city. I don't know. I would be tempted to steal the ones that are just not marked. I mean, I'm if I was really getting into the role, you're not going to tell me what I can and can't steal. <laughs> but okay, just okay. Follow the rules. At epic empires, in battle, you count the times you get hit, and it depends on your armor and your experience uh... how many hits you can take before the character is critically wounded. At epic empires, the focus is not on winning at all costs. It's much more important to have a great roleplay experience, even in battle. That's why the camps actually raid each other at the end of each event. Whoever has put the most into creating a great overall atmosphere and immersive roleplay wins the so-called B-Note. After all, it's so boring when everyone is an invincible hero of badassdom. Hmm. It's much more fun for everyone if you also give someone else a hero moment. That's a sign of true oh. self-confidence, and also one for- That's true. Okay, so every once in a while, you gotta kinda fall on your own sword, or, you know, leave yourself open to an attack, just to keep the plot moving along. Good roleplay in LARP. That being said, Epic Empires also allows full contact battle, if both oh parties agree to it. It's the so-called Elf's Mouth rule. 
which basically means in your face. If both parties signal their consent, you can go into full in-fight mode. If you want to know more about the rules, there's a full rule book online of the Epic Empires homepage, oh, even wow. in English. At Epic Empires... This is no joke. I wonder, does it cost money to get in? There are more than 12 camps you can choose from. I mean, they're not setting this all up for free. Somebody needs to get paid, even if it's not profitable. You're going to have to pay to attend this. This is insane. Since it's simply impossible to introduce you to every single one of them, here is a look at a few great examples. The Orc Camp is built into a natural quarry and surrounded by high stone walls. That's cool. Skulls and bones warn the visitors to be extremely careful with these dark creatures. The Elven Camp is... It'd be legitimately terrifying, like... There's something, even though you know that it's just a guy behind the mask and all the paint and everything, when they're, you know, when they all look like that and they're, no one's taking their mask off, it, you'd probably start to feel like you might actually be in trouble. Extremely careful with these dark creatures. The elven camp is the polar opposite. Elegant palisades are built right into the woods. You will walk on freshly cleaned forest paths. Oh, that's nice. You will marvel at elven art. This is where my wife would probably want to stay. I'd be with the orcs. And you can even climb these platforms right into the treetops. Off we go to the camp of the Norsemen. This is the Norelak. It's another great example that everything at Epic Empires is built to be fully immersive. People even do everyday tasks in game. It looks like they're even like cooking. Um, well, I don't know. Like, there's no processed food. Nobody's bringing in a bag of McDonald's. You know, hey, I've got to take a break. I got to run to McDonald's. What's everybody want to eat? No, I think they're actually quiet. We're trying to do a freaking. Gosh. Um. Anyway, yeah. Some legit cooking going on here. I also wonder if you're allowed to use your phone. Probably not. At Norilak, you really feel like you are surrounded by Vikings and Norsemen. But you can also choose to go to the dark side. What an impressive wow. palisade, right? Covered in hundreds of skulls, you know right away to be fearful of these people. That would be hard to infiltrate. You'd end up uh, on their wall, if you could even get over it. Welcome to the Chaos Camp. <laughs> if you know okay. Warhammer Fantasy, you know that this is the realm of dark rituals, evil politics, and bloodthirsty battles. Okay, that's battles. where I'd be. And then here is a great example of a more historically inspired low fantasy camp. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Camp. You can see colorful palisades with high watchtowers and soldiers marching side by side with long pole arms in their hands. The Pilgrim's Camp really looks like it's set right in the late European Middle Ages between the 13th and the 16th century. And these are just a few examples of the diverse camps you can be a part of at Epic Empires. All of them have wonderfully decorated campsites and are a pleasure to look at. You won't see a single plastic chair or- That's why it would be frustrating if they're trying to keep you out. I'd be trying to break in just to look around. Maybe, make, maybe I'd make a Trojan horse or something. Or any mobile phones. For these five days, you really live in a medieval fantasy world. Oh, did she say? No mobile phones? You won't phones? see a single plastic chair or any mobile phones. For these five days, you... Wow. We've become so accustomed to using, like, always having our phone on us. That would be one of the most just shocking... Ah, oh, probably sh shockingly difficult things to accomplish is not having a phone on you then again you've got all these people to talk to all these things to do and see so maybe it wouldn't be that hard but i think the hardest part for me would just be lying in my bed at night i just need i need something to look at like i don't know or maybe i don't maybe that's my problem in life maybe that's why i don't fall asleep for an hour after going to bed you really live in a medieval fantasy world every camp is completely self-organized and has between 50 and 150 members. If you want to be a part of a camp, you need to apply first. And that's how we get to our next point. Okay. So you can't just get in. 
All right. For most LARP events, you can simply buy a ticket and go to the event. Oh, okay, there you That's go. That's different for Epic Empires. In order to visit this LARP, you need to choose a camp and then apply for it with a photo and a concept of your character. That makes sense. They can't just let anybody in, you know, because, um, I mean, no offense to the standard LARPer, but if you showed up looking like any of these guys, no offense, once again, no offense to them, but they're just not, they're not cut out. Their costume needs work is what I'm saying. If they're, if they're trying to attend this, it would totally throw off the whole vibe. You need to, you need to show, you need to prove that you've got what it, you know, the costume skills and the costume itself. Only if they accept your application, you will be able to attend. That's important for two reasons to them. First of all, your concept and your costume need to fit the respective theme of the camp. So if you want to be a part of the antique camp, for example, your character needs to fit into the world of the old Romans or Greeks. The entire plot of this LARP event only makes sense if your character really fits the theme. The second reason is that Epic Empires wants to create a super immersive experience. The goal is that everyone really feels like they are in an actual fantastic world for five days. The outfits are as... I'm surprised they even let a cameraman in. You know? It's, it's almost like Amish country or something. Like there's... <laughs> like no electronics here. It's olden times. So some people might be like, hey, that camera is kind of throwing off my... I'm trying to get in the mindset. There are no cameras. In an actual fantastic world for five days. The outfits are as much a part of that as the decoration of your camp. So it needs to be so realistic and well wow. done that it adds to the immersion for everyone. That doesn't mean you need to have a super expensive outfit, however. A simple but well-executed costume is absolutely enough. Basically, don't look like this and wear your <laughs> 90s LARP. I would, I would have thought that was pretty good. Pirate shirt, cheap plastic fabrics and old hiking boots. Instead, use good basics in fitting colors. That looks better. And most importantly, in-game shoes. Yes, in- Of course, the shoes. It's Germany. Yes. Of course, the shoes are a major factor. You need the right shoes. Game shoes or perfectly covered up crazy. game shoes might be the most outstanding difference to your average LARP game. But don't worry. The camps are really helpful and open-minded. They will support you with tips and tricks for easy improvements if necessary. And they will make sure you will feel right at home when you attend. The Orc Camp even offers an Orc Apprenticeship at Epic Empires. If you have always oh, wanted to know if go. this roleplay is for you, you can be an orc for a day. <laughs> they will lend you a costume and guide you around. That's funny. Once I mean, it, that probably is the most... They might have a little trouble getting enough people at the orcs because it's a huge um, investment, basically, to ha purchase this ridiculous costume. So they're, you know, they're like, okay, we'll lend you one. You can see how you like it. We will lend you a costume and guide you around. Once big commitment is really the word I was looking for. Application was successful. You can purchase your tickets directly through your respective camp. Depending on when you book, the prices are between 130 and 180 euro for the five day event. That's not bad. That is not bad. And presumably they provide the food. Hey, that's, I probably spend more on food than that in any given five days. So that's really not bad. Epic Empires is completely organized by volunteers. They are part of a non-profit association, and so the money from the tickets goes entirely back into the event. Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of like what I was saying. You got to pay. Nobody's getting rich, but this thing requires some capital. Yes, there are decent sanitary facilities at Epic Empires. That's good. You will find <laughs> hot showers on two locations and mobile toilets on at least... Three. That's good. That's, that. yeah, you know, if you're going to sacrifice a little bit, just a little bit of immersion, we don't need people pooping in holes next to the camp. Three locations of the campsite. Be prepared to walk a little because the campsite is really big. 
You will also find the paramedics adjacent to the shower container. Oh, look at that. They can help you with any health issues. In I can imagine they come in handy because even if you're not intending to hurt people, when you're battling, <laughs> waving around giant 12 foot long fake swords and sticks and smacking them on people, somebody is going to get injured. So, you know, you might call in the healer, but then you might be like, no, I mean the actual, we need, we need the actual uh, healer, the real, the, the, the doctor. But thank you. In terms of merchants, there are only a few in the town center that sell mead or oh, that's time cool. in a hot tub. In general, you need to bring your own food and drink. Okay, I was wrong about the food. Okay. Well, oh well. But you can go buy some cool slushy. Thanks to Epic Empires. And people really take their time to cook and even bake in-game. Wow. I have seen some beautiful historical ovens and cooking stations over open fire. It absolutely adds to the immersive atmosphere. For sure. So make sure to bring your own. Absolutely, I can imagine, because eating really is a, a huge part of society. You know what I mean? Like, you got to incorporate that into this. If you're, if you're there for five days, you're having three meals a day and take an hour to two hours to prepare, an hour to eat. You know, that's like nine hours out of the day that people are eating. Plies. If you want more information, visit epic-empires.de and make sure to check out Epic Empires on Facebook and Instagram. They are very active on social media and happy to answer all your questions or direct you to a camp of your choice. If you liked this video, make sure to follow our channel Sonya's Adventures for Definitely. more cool LARP videos and for other badass adventures. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. LARP in Germany was next level. Is it like, is that the best country for LARP? Germany? I can't really imagine anybody doing it more hardcore than that. That was really incredible. Um, go check out her channel. Like I said, the link is down below. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Because I'll be here, you know? Subscribe if you want to. Okay, goodbye.